I'm going to talk about getting blood work done, not for health purposes, just for performance purposes to see where you're at during your contest prep or off season and why things possibly aren't clicking the way you envision them or they should be due to your dietary practices and everything else being on point. Uh, well, that's also health. Firstly, well, it's health, but it's not like liver, kidneys, all that stuff. Firstly, as bodybuilders, I say this all the time, we're sometimes cheap asses and we like to spend money on gear and new shoes to work out in and silly stuff, but not so much the boring stuff. I recommend everyone, if you are serious about looking your best, being your best, make sure your hormones are on point. And a lot of times, and I've seen this, and I know firsthand now since my hormones are in the gutter, you got to make sure your product's legit. And there's not uh, testing like there used to be pre-2007 where you could send in individual compounds, exotics, Anabar, Masteron, all that stuff, and actually see and verify the, the target hormone can't do that. I think they shut those labs, San Rafael labs or whatever it was down. But you can at least know if your testosterone is real. And, you know, not that that's a good indicator that the other goods are going to be real, but you at least, you at least want to know your test is real. Because if that's fake, chances are your other crap is fake too. So you want to get the total testosterone test with liquid chromatography, LC and MS mass spectrometry. Make sure you get those in specific. Because if you don't, you might get a total test from like a lab corp, just the vague cheap one, because you're always looking to get a bargain, you bodybuilders out there. And what that'll do is cap you off at 1500 nanograms per deciliter. You don't want to be capped off. You want to know if your 750 milligrams has you at 4,000 to 5,000 nanograms per deciliter. Secondly, of course, any generic growth hormone, it's a no brainer. You don't be a cheap butt, cheap ass, cheap butt. <laughs> This is my like edited version. Go get your GH serum test done. It's fifty dollars. Very simple. You boot ten. I use a full bottle of your generic crap in your delt intramuscularly, uh, give or take two and a half to three and a half hours prior to the blood draw. It's an anonymous draw. You go in there. You're in and out. Just print out your requisition forms. Do it because why spend? Oh, cool, bro. I got a deal on one twenty a kit. If I buy twenty kits. Okay, now you might be out over two grand if you you don't test it. You're just cheap to get a $50 test or you make excuses and say, oh, I'm too busy. I got this going on this week and I got to travel. No, no, no. If you seriously care about your physique and bodybuilders are selfish, you should be selfish enough to go get your hormone checked and paid for and all that stuff as your GH serum. Um, other than that, there's not, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can, I mean, estrogen, that's another one, guys. A lot of the liquid research companies, some of them are okay, I'm sure, but the liquid estrogen aromatized inhibitors, the SERMs, make sure they're pharmacy grade. There's so many online pharmacies you can order from India or Canada or this or that and get you know, prescription grade or at least generic prescription tabs, which are you know are going to be accurately dosed. You can quarter them up, half them up, do whatever you need to do to, to cut them. Because your estrogen is a serious thing during contest prep and off season. Two eye of estrogen is bad. Two eye of estrogen obviously causes fat. It causes you to gain fat. It causes water retention. It lowers your sex drive. Um, it, it just does a host of, of negative things. Even I believe uh, it exacerbates pre-existing cancer cells. Kind of similar to growth hormone does. But then again, if you have estrogen too low in the gutter, which I've talked about before, then you hinder fat loss in that regard. If it's too low, uh, your lipids go to crap. All that stuff. So you want to have your estrogen optimized. And my uh, suggestion would be to try to get it in that 10 to 20 range pre-contest. Off-season, it can go up into the 30s to 40s or so. Um, and that's optimal. And you can get it tested. Guys are too lazy. They kind of just, you know, gamble, roll the dice, hope for the best with the products and the compounds. And just, you know, oh, I trust my source. Well, here's news for you. Your same source that was good for the last two years could very well just start getting bad stuff or, or it could change and I've had that happen with something that was awesome for a year and then all of a sudden I got less full sex drive went down food wasn't appealing like certain things were happening and sure enough I got my blood test testosterone was about 50% less than it should have been so trust me get it done don't be cheap don't be lazy don't make excuses if you're serious 
prove it. Get, get your blood done to make sure all parameters are on point. Thank <laughs> you.